Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene appeared on Sean Hannity's show on Fox News and brutally embarrassed herself, not understanding whatsoever what she was talking about, or more likely choosing to communicate dishonestly the things that she's talking about, distort the facts to attack the other side. Now, what this is in relation to is uh, the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment, as well as the fact that whales turned up on um, a shore or shores dead. And watch the way that Sean Hannity and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene attempt to connect those to their attacks against the other side in such a dishonest way. We'll break it down all um, after this. Here with reaction, Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. You know, some people talk about, for example, wind turbines contributing to the death of whales and, and, and uh, bird life, et cetera, in that case. Nobody wants to seem to talk about that. Um, and then you have this, this toxic chemical mess in Ohio, uh, in Palestine, that we reported on earlier in the program, and, and I don't hear anything from the new Green Deal climate alarmist cult uh, about what is an environmental disaster by every measure. Why? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know why AOC isn't dressed in white and crying for the dead whales that keep washing on the beach um, from wind farms that are being placed all over the ocean. And people are calling the alarms over how this is not only killing unknown thousands of bird species, but also causing whales to beach themselves at record numbers. But the real problem, Sean, is Pete Buttigieg. He's the Secretary of Transportation, and he's more interested in equity and inclusion in his hiring practices and grant giving uh, schemes, and, and obviously probably chest feeding or something like that, than he is rail safety. And that's where we have real danger in our country. You see, Pete Buttigieg was never qualified for the job. And I believe we need to haul him in in our committees and start questioning him over what's actually happening in his department. Because train derailment is happening every single day. And now thousands of people, uh, birds, animals, they're all sick. And we don't know the consequences of this horrible accident in East Palestine. But we have people like Ilhan Omar. She wants to, you know, crack down on corporate greed when it comes to rails and the privately owned sections of rails. But really what we have to do is we have to make sure that our rails are safe. Democrats passed a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill and only $5 billion went towards rail safety. This is a failure. It would have never happened under a Republican controlled infrastructure bill. And we need to hold Democrats accountable for this, especially Pete Buttigieg. We're so up front, I'll say it is totally natural and justified to look at who is currently in power and start casting blame in a situation like this and criticize them, that's perfectly fine. But the dishonest way Marjorie Green portrayed the facts there and the way that she will criticize in one place and not in other places is stunning. So let's just start going through some of this. At the beginning, Sean Hannity saying that the climate cult, as it was um, titled at the lower third on screen, is not concerned with what's going on in East Palestine, Ohio. That's not true. People concerned with the environment and concerned with the health of the citizens on the ground in and around East Palestine, uh, Palestine Ohio are absolutely concerned about that, 100%. So I don't know where he's getting that idea. Then just to quickly touch on Marjorie Green, once again, the favorite joke now among many of these uh, groups saying, oh, Pete Buttigieg is trying to figure out how to chest feed. Is it really that difficult to get your mind around two males raising a child? There's other ways to feed a baby if you can believe it, Marjorie Green. But getting into some of the meat of this, let's start with the East Palestine, Ohio talking points, and then we'll get to the whales stuff. So Oregon Public Broadcasting in 2015 reported, quote, federal transportation regulators in the U.S. and Canada released a sweeping set of final rules uh, Friday with more stringent requirements for railroads hauling flammable liquids, including crude oil and ethanol. The Department of Transportation rules would require new electronic brake systems for all trains carrying flammable liquids at speeds above 30 miles per hour but, uh, by the year 2021. Current air brake technology has been in use for more than a century. So that's under the Obama administration increased uh, regulations in regard 
to even specifically braking systems. Then you skip forward to 2018 under the Trump administration. Oregon Public Broadcasting again reports the U.S. Department of Transportation, which has been working on rescinding rescinding the rules since last December, said in, uh, in a statement this week that it is, its analysis showed the cost of requiring railroads to equip trains with the new brakes outweighed the potential benefits. So under the Trump administration, that transportation department decided, you know what, we're going to rescind some of these rules and regulations that were specifically addressing braking systems that could have made a difference with what we saw in East Palestine, Ohio. We can never say necessarily this event wouldn't have happened if these particular res regulations were in place. It's hard to say that, but could have and definitely seems to be something that would have been a really good um, change in the reality of this situation. Marjorie Greene's ignoring that fact, ignoring the fact that under Trump, these regulations were rescinded that could have contributed to this. Interesting. But instead, she'll focus all of her attention on um, the way she wants to attack those that she doesn't like. So then you get to the whale's point. Speaking to USA Today, Greenpeace's Oceans Director, uh, John Hosevar, said, it's just a cynical disinformation campaign. It doesn't seem to worry them that it's not based in any kind of evidence. So the whales did turn up on shore and they were dead. But this claim that it was wind turbines that killed them is just not true. He noted that scientists who study whales have concluded there is no link, no link between wind turbines and whale deaths. I've heard this so much in the last kind of 24 hours. Oh, the whales, the whales, the whales. The left doesn't want to talk about it because wind turbines killed them. And it's this whole big thing. But that's not true. So stop saying it. Um, so much dishonesty there. And it really shows you when you prioritize just political gain over all else, you're going to make some deeply illogical and incorrect points. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of a show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. Link in the description.